Green Left acknowledges we are recording this interview on the stolen lands of the Wurundjeri Woi Wurrung people. And welcome, Natalia, and thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Can you please introduce yourself to an international audience and what brings you to Australia? My name is Natalia Levitska. I am Vice President of the Confederation of Free Trade Union of Ukraine. And in Australia, I participate uh, in World Congress uh, International Trade Union Confederation. What can you tell us about the trade union movement in Ukraine? Uh, Ukraine is now is a very difficult situation. And I represent the Confederation of Free Trade Union of Ukraine, and which is the second largest union in Ukraine. Uh, KVPU, uh, my, name, my, name, my, my name, name of my organization is KVPU, it's, uh, and KVPU was established at the time of the independence of Ukraine, uh, but is the first organization were established during the minor strike of the uh, U, uh, Soviet Union time. General in uh, trade union movement in Ukraine uh, united uh, six million workers. Uh, but now, due in the war, uh, in decreases because Russia destroyed enterprises and, and infrastructure that caused the workplace uh, loss, as well as destroy uh, residential building, hospital, uh, makes terror in occupied territories, then force people to flee and become refugees. Prior to the invasion, Ukrainian trade unions uh, fought for the wage increase and better working conditions uh, in demand and the implementation in international labor standards in Ukrainian, uh, uh, Ukrainian uh, legislation. We faced, attempt, uh, we faced attempts to narrow working and unions' uh, rights um, several times. But uh, thanks to campaign, uh, protest actions, uh, and negotiation with the government, um, we stopped this, uh, the attempts. I want to admit uh, that the KVPU branch and primary organization defend uh, workers' rights um, uh, using different tools. First, in, uh, for, first uh, of all, protest actions uh, uh, work to rule actions, uh, collective bargain, bar bargaining, and submitting lawsuits. Even now, during the war, uh, we have sexual uh, case in courts. Uh, for example, two weeks ago, uh, the Supreme Court of Ukraine ruled um, in favor on their company, uh, a trade union organization, a member of KVPU, in case of the illegal dismissal. However, due to the war, we are limited in our possibilities. For example, we can campaign, but cannot hold protest actions in this moment in Ukraine. How has Russia's invasion impacted on the trade union movement in Ukraine? Uh, the KVP organization uh, was affected by the war science in 2014. Uh, so we had the experience uh, of working with internally displaced uh, people and helping our members um, who were serving in the Ukraine army, uh, army now. Moreover, we had cases uh, when our union leaders, leaders um, uh, were kidnapped and tortured by uh, Russia, by separatists. And our unions were prohibited. But the Russian full-scale um, invasions uh, ran it on all our cities and villages, killed, um, killed the people and brought uh, terror to our country. And trade unions are uh, faced uh, with new challenges, challenges in the moment, including risk for members' lives, displace, dis, dis, displacement, uh, loss of home, homes, loss of job, job and incomes, uh, Sexual, sexual violence and torture, and risk of human trafficking. Moreover, Ukrainian children were illegally taken to the Russian Federation. It's a very big problem for Ukraine now. Our members request help because uh, their parents don't know how to take them back. And uh, the scale uh, of our task is huge. Since the first day of invasion, uh, the KVPU has been helping to evacuate people from uh, dangerous, uh, dangerous uh, uh, region of Ukraine, deliver humanitarian aid, uh, deliver medicine and equipment to hospital, and um, 
and now on the priority priority direction of the KVPU is preparing in the cold season uh, cold season and because the winter is coming is is very soon and uh, now Russia forces uh, heat energy heat energy ob object and infrastructure infrastructure to cause blackout with water gas a uh, heat supply cut. We uh, are grateful for our uh, organization, different organization tribunal from different country, and also International Tribunal Confederation uh, for your support, for your help, because uh, we have, can uh, possibility to deliver power bands, warm clothes, uh, uh, space heaters, and necessary goods to our members, Mitsan and civilian in different regions, in different regions of Ukraine. And um, even now, now in Kyiv, we live and work in electricity outrages. Just imagine uh, that you can prepare food, take shower, work and have internet connections only, and certain time when there is electricity supply. And now it's very important for us, it's prepare for, win for winter season. Because everyday situation is very dangerous. Every day, Russia destroy our energy obje object, organize uh, attacks for our our civilian. What can you tell us about the anti-union laws being pushed by the Zelensky government? Thank you for your question. And Ukrainian trade unions are opposite to law and draw law that narrow workers and trade unions right, developed by the representative on the major parliament party. And we campaign against labor reform uh, that is carried out without effective social dialogue. It's a very big problem in Ukraine now. It's, uh, we don't have uh, effective social dialogue in Ukraine in the moment. Moreover, we insist uh, that significant changes in leg legislation must uh, be made within the consultation with social partners and in a time when workers can um, have information about these dialogues. Now workers, uh, unfortunately, don't have a proper electricity supply to read uh, or watch uh, the news to follow the changes. Uh, but their voices must be he he heard. Ukrainian trade unions continue different campa campaign uh, and assist in the uh, importance to make legislation uh, in Ukraine in compliance with international labor standards, uh, including directive of European Union, because now Ukraine is a country who um, uh, who uh, can have a possibility to be part of European Union and Ukrainian, legisl Ukrainian um, legislation must be in social and uh, including European um, legislation. How much influence does the far right have in the Ukraine? Uh, now, uh, Ukraine, um, uh, a lot of people in Ukraine united uh, for uh, protect Ukraine, Ukraine. And uh, a lot of people want to live in peaceful Ukraine. And now, uh, on each person in Ukraine uh, want to um, say, uh, want to protect uh, our uh, our country. And it's not uh, influence, uh, influence. Uh, a different group and it's Ukraine it's a very democracy country and uh, Ukraine in Ukraine live uh, people who um, uh, support uh, our country and maybe this question is very uh, it's hard for me because uh, I think uh, that uh, uh, it's uh, maybe it's a uh, Russia propaganda because it's uh, maybe na nationalist, may maybe it's other country, uh, fascism in Ukraine. It's not uh, true because Ukraine it's a country uh, where live peaceful, uh, peaceful um, people and uh, and uh, people who want to live in Ukraine. It's not as a prop. It's a, it's question. It's very hard because. Uh, I think that Ukraine is a democracy country and uh, we, we want to live in uh, our country. How can trade unions in other countries support Ukrainian workers? Uh, as a country, uh, support uh, Ukraine and we um, appreciate all kinds of support from our brother, sister, from donation and humanitarian aids. Uh, 
uh, to spreading information about the war in Ukraine in their countries. It's very important for us because our colleagues in forum, uh, their government, their people about situation in the Ukraine. We, and now we still need aid in winter. It's very important in the, for Ukraine, for Ukrainian people. Uh, Ukrainian people need uh, gener generators, power bank, uh, medicine, food, warm clothes, uh, sleeping bags. And um, our refugees, our, our Ukrainian refugees, uh, uh, can back home, can can back home because their homes are destroyed. And uh, their cities uh, are under missiles attack or still occupied by Russians. And we ask our trade union, uh, our trade union, to spread information and explain to their member that the time war in Ukraine has had a devastating impact of people worldwide. And the people of Ukraine are fight, uh, fighting for their freedom democracy and peace and all, all, all the world, all the Europe. And uh, they gave uh, their li lives not only for, the, for Ukrainian land, but uh, for, uh, Ukrainian people uh, fighting for, for um, a better future for the world. What are your thoughts on the post-war reconstruction of Ukraine? The post, uh, the post war reconstruction of Ukraine uh, must be inclusive and must be aimed uh, to build uh, an economy uh, based on decent and green job. Decent, decent and green job because it's very important. Uh, because now in Ukraine destroyed a lot of enterprises and a lot of people lo lose uh, the, their uh, job. And the trade union as a representative of workers should be involved uh, in this process of, of uh, developing a plan of the rebuilding of Ukraine. People, uh, Ukrainian people have paid a huge price for freedom and peace. In the, and we have uh, no illusion that the rebuilding process will be easy because it's a very hard, uh, hard process. And unfortunately, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of enterprises destroy. It's big enterprises, for example, Co uh, for example, coal mine uh, and, uh, for example, uh, other um, um, big um, uh, enterprises. And all social par uh, parties should be cooperated and work hard to ensure a better future for our children because now it's very important we need to think about rebuilding of Ukraine. What are your thoughts about Ukrainian-Polish calls to expel the Russian Union, the FNPR? Uh, yeah. Russia, Russia Federation uh, continue to destroy um, Ukraine and commit genocide against the population. Uh, Russia used uh, using um, uh, rocket strikes and bombs, and uh, pro pro it, it's um, Russia occupied our ter our territory, and uh, now uh, Russia is coming the crime of genocide. Um, crime against humanity was crimes and the crime of aggressions. Unfortunately, FNPR support uh, uh, the war in Ukraine and uh, uh, the criminal action and po policy in the Russia authorities. Uh, and uh, we think that uh, FNPR is not uh, to, to be part of IT ITUC and the Congress, uh, Congress uh, ITUC um, will decide uh, this, this, um, this um, uh, questions and I think that our colleagues from other country uh, support of Ukraine is very important for us because all organizations of the world uh, support uh, Ukraine and today we have a meeting event uh, when we inform our colleagues about the situation in Ukraine and all colleagues from uh, German, from uh, French, from uh, Italy, from um, uh, Moldova and countries support of Ukraine. It's very important and now uh, tri uh, international trade union uh, movement uh, need to do a lot of things uh, for Ukraine, for your support, for help Ukrainian people. Do you have any final comments that you would like to make? Um, now I want to uh, ask uh, a lot of people, please uh, 
stand with Ukraine and help us to win this war because it's very it's very important now we live in very difficult conditions. Please stand up with all those who fight against authoritarian totalitarian regimes, uh, unjust and right violence. We should uh, fight for um, a better world and to ensure that uh, never again will be uh, wars, uh, genocide and crimes against humanity. And Ukraine must uh, win in this war and Ukrainian people uh, must live in the decent war condition. Ukrainian people must live in peaceful country and only together uh, with other country, with all the world, we can win this war. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us today, Natalia. Thank you for your possibility to inform Australian people about the situation in Ukraine.